Hello everyone, uh, I am doing this series for many people who are all asking for class course, okay, the only for scripting and all, many people are not able to join it, okay, for our uh, 7 or uh, 15 days of uh, scripting classes, okay. So, when we are uh, discussing the scripting, the first phase, it will start with client scripts, okay, because everyone needs to start with client scripts. So, in this video series, <coughs> I am going to cover uh, close to 36 samples, 36 live scenarios. The live scenarios will be covered almost like every uh, type of client script and every almost like all important methods. When we say methods, we use like this. Okay, so we use the form, right? And then we see all these things, right? So lending client script, lending uh, G form is nothing but uh, lending these methods. How we use it. In live environment okay how we use it in live environment and what kind of scenarios we get it okay so we have two main important uh, uh, user related form related activities methods glide records okay glide glide user and glide uh, form okay these, these two are specific to user specific form specific client side specific okay so I framed almost like 36 scenarios here is the 36 scenarios will cover almost like all the live environment scenarios and also the benefit of these six to 36 scenarios is it will cover almost like everything okay and also it covers all important methods of g form and g user okay so, and it helps both right so if we see this one okay i segregated in a way that the first six or seven they are all general, very straightforward. Like uh, I have a field, okay. If the field have one value, then based on that value, the other one needs to be like uh, set mandatory, set read only, set visible. So based on one field, other field behavior should be changed. Let's say I have here, okay. If active equal to false, right? Maybe cancel reason should be read only, true, or I don't want to show cancel reason, okay. So, can show the cancel reason only if it is maybe if the state equal to something, right? So, those kind of things. So, let's say cancel reason. Show cancel reason only if it is cancelled, right? Don't show it for all other cases, something like that, okay? So, these first seven are like that, simple, simple thing. And then next thing is choice, okay? From client script side, we can operate of creating and deleting choices. So right now I have these seven, six, four choices for this field. Okay, I want one more choice to be created from script. So if it is active true, okay, activeness. If it is active fields, unactiveness. Something, something I want to create it. Creating choices from script. So the seventh one will handle that. And eighth one, like from here, it's all referencing type. Okay, there is a function called get reference. Okay, we get the control of a reference field and then do operations. So, all these examples like auto population. So, let's say I have a user here. Okay, I have first name, last name, manager, phone number, email. So, when I select the user, something like this. Okay, let's say I select able tutor. Okay, so I want able tutor details to auto populate here. Able tutor, able tutor doesn't have a manager, so manager didn't populate. So, whatever the values that are there, right? those values should be auto populated right so for that we have some scripts here okay that i will use it so maybe let's select one more user abraham lincoln okay i'll select abraham lincoln so see here all abraham lincoln uh, details are coming up right so this kind of thing and remaining other kind of all related to get reference okay that method okay we need to use callback function here without callback function also we can do so those kind of things we will cover here and then if we go to the next section these are all very generic but very very kind of important say let's say okay i don't want to okay allow users to change something in the list view okay and every form have a attachment i don't want to show the attachment when active equal to false i don't want to show it when active equal to true only i can show it okay so this operation and then uh, okay i want to show a field message here okay i have two date fields right 
so if a del see let's say date of issue caused so let's say it should be always past okay it should not be future so if i select future then it should give an error and that too that error should give exactly here not here okay so field message is related and general general issues general uh, messages like here okay error message info message something like this see here i am not selecting anything here so i will pop up with an error message so let's see here so this is an error message do you see here this is the error message this is warning message how to operate them okay and the user should not submit so this is again one more okay let's say i have a field here right so i have a detailed description field it is not mandatory but okay i give something and i am submitting it submission time i need to check this value if the value is there then okay if it is not there then stop it those kind of activities okay so these are all general but good important uh, examples and next one is okay very powerful right advanced here i showcased many important things okay so example is like someone will come up and say okay you are in a farm i i i it is like this when you are loading the farm it, the value is this one okay so you should not you should you, okay right now let's say it is cancelled so you change it to in progress then it should not allow specific to values okay so we have something called world value new value that and all we will uh, we have it so we will take the control of it okay and then we have some other scenario like uh, i have a parent table and child table i want to apply something on child table level okay task table have short description okay and uh, incident table also have short description so i want incident table short description mandatory it should not be mandatory on task table but only in incident table okay so that kind of thing how we do it right and then next one is sections right i have a section here okay it's not a related list but it's a section i want to hide or show the sections based on some condition so if active equal to true then show it if active equal to not show or not true then don't show it that is related to section and show and hide related list so in our tables okay we have something called related lists okay if you go to incident table we have related lists under incident table right so showing and hiding the related list based on some condition right so section is different the previous example this is section okay the first part middle part is section okay record related with this and all hiding and showing this part is different and this one hiding and showing this one based on a condition how we do it okay then there are some other important things like how i can create one client script that will work on on load and on change both okay so when i am applying a template how how can i run a script okay how can i run a script on loading time okay how to make an attachment mandatory and how to get the work notes details okay someone someone will uh, update something in the work notes i want to get the value and then if the value contains something okay then i need to do something so how to do it right and next example is future dates okay let's say i have same like i have a date field right i want to allow only future dates to be selected not past dates okay how can i do it and then there are few examples okay where we can discuss on g user okay so if the GU is like uh, if the logged in user have ITL role, then only make it mandatory. Okay, for non ITL users, don't show it. So hiding and showing the behavior of fields based on the user roles. Okay, how you control it. And these are the important things. It comes. These are also easy only, but kind of little tricky. Okay, the next thing is very very important scenario. So I have a logic here in the incident table. I have a logic. Okay, if impact equal to high, okay, and urgency equal to high, then priority value is setting up automatically. If I change some value here, the priority value automatically will change to something else. Okay, this is a lookup rule. Okay, there is a concept called data lookup. Okay, but I want to implement same thing in my custom table. Okay, with the client script. How can I do it? which is very very important scenario so that scenario we will cover it so that you get lot of good control in the client script part okay 
and the next one is this is also very important scenario this is very huge script but simple script okay so let's say i have a state field here okay so when i have a state field i have see here i have a cancelled region right so cancelled region like this new in progress on hold resolved closed cancelled six columns are there six types six choices are there for six choices uh, we need six regions new region cancelled region in progress region on hold region resolved region closed region right so when i select new here i would see, i should see only new region i should see new region and then it's mandatory i should not see remaining five regions if i say closed okay i should see only closed region i should not see remaining so every time you select one option here that specific region should show and then make it mandatory same like this so for this it is around uh, 80 lines of code will come 70 to 80 lines of code so this is a very good example okay but simple example only okay and then the next one is email validation so let's say i have a email field here okay i will write like this okay so if i say like this then it's an invalid email so we need to define something validation so that it takes only in, in, in valid email ids if it is invalid email id then we should give an error and then it should not allow so those kind of things Okay, we need to use regex here reg regular expression okay then next one is very important okay so we have okay let's say i have a, one option here okay so i have two uh, ui actions create outage and create request right so if i click create outage then i want to do something here maybe this one mandatory or this one read only if i say okay let's say i have a two fields here outage request okay so i have one field here outage field i have request field if i click the last button as ua action button as create outage then the outage field should be read only true okay if i create if i click create request then cre request field should be read only true so what is the logic here is getting the last clicked ui action and then do something okay we have some function there to get the last clicked ui action then how you get it how you use it very important scenario that we will see okay and last few things like we will do one scenario for list view okay so here 35 is missing 35 is like callback function i written there on top so how to use callback that is 35 okay 36 here is uh, list view how you do okay simple scripts in list view okay on selected client script examples okay so these are the that okay callback function these are the 36 okay daily useful very very important scenarios right and the video will be explaining all of these functions how to use it and when we are explaining it also for first time learners i don't be copy pasting it so, so i don't know anything about client script so how you will start with client script okay so we'll doc we'll go from documentation so open one form okay with the documentation and then how to read the function how to use the function okay and what is the logic behind it so let's say i want to do it first of all what is the logic what are the things we need it and then what is the action you need to do it right so the series of videos okay will contain all of them and the agenda or expectation is once you finish this part with the practice and you get a very strong control on scripting and it helps to get the server side scripting examples also because once you are done with client side then only you can understand server side scripting live record under so these are the video uh, course all about okay so please go through it thank you